Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Bit of a quiet one today, as you would expect, um, just ahead of an international weekend. But there has been a, uh, a couple of bits of news today. Uh, young defender Reese Welsh has gone on loan to Belgian second division side KMSK Dentsy. Is not that's a loan for the rest of the season? Um, bit, bit of an underwhelming one. This, you know, someone who's who's got a potentially big future, and I just don't think. Um, personally, this is a this is the level he should be playing at. He is twenty, and you know, okay, maybe twenty is more. You see more like maybe attackers playing in the first team of Premier League teams. If there are any, to you know, too many twenty year olds playing in the Premier League, maybe defenders take a little bit more time to get that experience. But for someone who's highly regarded to be going to the Belgian second division, that doesn't scream to me development. That does. That's just more like get him some games, get him, a, get him a team, and yeah, I'm not really sure on that one at all for me personally. But we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see how he does. Um, of it would have been nicer to see maybe go to a championship ta- side at this stage of his development. Really, Everton, we've always said, have got to make decisions faster on these players, and you know when players get to twenty and. You're looking at the contracts and whether to renew them and is it worth the time and is it worth the money. You'd expect them to be... I'd expect him to be playing at least for a a team in the Belgian first division. You know, you think about Jared Brantwick going to the Dutch first division to a to a very good side. You know, not expecting them to be anywhere near as good as Jared Brantwick, but that's what we're talking about in terms of levels. And that's a little bit underwhelming, that for me. So, um, we'll have to wait and see how how things turn out with that loan deal and whether he, you know, he's a big year or whether he just fades. Um, he's been to Forest Green before and it's never, you know, he's never really, he's, you know, he's never really pulled up any trees, no pun intended on Forest Green. Um, but we'll wait and see how he gets on this year. Uh, Everton have announced that they have, conf- well, they have confirmed that Red Bull, obviously a huge company, is now the official energy drink partner it's a multi-year agreement uh everton will benefit from from the opportunity to promote the brand globally across the clubs uh physical and online channels uh it's the biggest deal ever apparently for an official energy drink i don't know how many official energy drink i know we have had official energy drinks before so it's it's not the first time but it's a record deal and it is a huge company it's funny because i was in the ground on saturday and I did see Red Bull popping up on the on the side, um, straight away because it is one of those big iconic brands that you don't always see being advertised at the Premier League unless it's a um, a a sponsor within the Premier League itself. So I did I was wondering whether there was something going on with them, and uh, today we got the announcements. And yeah, I mean you just hope that this is sort of in connection with the stadium and we can start expecting more larger brands to get involved with um with the club because of the stadium we'll have to wait and see there's no figures involved that it's just the biggest deal um and that's the thing isn't it Everton are gonna have to hope to attract these uh, kind of larger brands to to be a good uh, to be in connection with the new stadium we've already seen a few deals um We'll have to wait and see whether... I mean, Red Bull, obviously, have, they've got into Leeds this year. They've actually took, I think, shares in Leeds. And we know they do have a multi-club system. So maybe that would be something that would stop them going big on a sponsorship deal for Evan. If the, the Red Bull um, logo is on Leeds kit, obviously they haven't gone as far as being rebranded as RB Leeds or something. But you do wonder if this could be the start of maybe seeing whether Red Bull would like to get involved more at Goodison. I'm not sure about the Red Bull arena. I'm not sure whether Everton's would take nicely to having it be Red Bull. Maybe Toro Rossa, um, like they renamed the uh, one of the Formula 1 uh, teams. Um, who knows? But but there's potential there. It is a big brand and we'll see We'll see how that develops. But you'll obviously see that more and more around the, around the ground this uh, th- this summer and, and, and around Finch Farm. And it's a multi- multi-year so obviously you'll see that the new ground next year so we'll wait and see how that develops and it is the international weekend as uh we mentioned as i mentioned uh mangala obviously a new loan sign and from leon he's involved with belgium tonight he's on the bench in their nations league game against israel so 
potential for him to come on and might maybe see a little bit of action. Good to see if he did get a little bit of action um, ahead of you know coming in at Everton in, in next week for the Villa game. Be good if he was involved in one of the two games for the, uh, they'll play over the next couple of days. And uh, Senegal play tonight, so a chance for Ndai and a chance for uh, Disagana Gay to be involved in that. They play in the African Nations qualifier against Burkina Faso. So. Um, Again, in die getting more game time, which is probably good because he's obviously had the slower start of the season, so they'll be involved. And obviously tomorrow, uh, England versus Ireland, you've got Jordan Pickford on one side being managed by Lee Carsley, and on the other side you've got Jake O'Brien and you've got Seamus Coleman. So that should be an interesting matchup for everyone tomorrow. I think that's a half five kickoff uh, Saturday, so bit of Everton interest in those games for you to check out. There you go. As I said, not loads about today, but I think I did all right dragging this one out. So uh, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out all the amazing videos that we've done this week on the channel. And uh, make sure if you want to join us for all those exclusive live shows and exclusive videos, head over to Sophie TV Premier. The link is in the description and the QR codes come up on the screen now. See you later.